Hello there, my lovely lab rats and test subjects. It's been a hot minute since I've done anything on this channel. I still have not gotten all of my big videos ready to post on this channel. So in the meantime, I've decided to work with my lovely editor to put together a VOD highlight reel of one of my more recent streams and one of my deep dives. Um, because I don't, I don't know if talking about how much I want to do indescribable things to monster girls is really good long form content. So instead, you can watch me and my good friend Juniper. Uh, all of her credits are in the description, though I'm sure if you seeing me, you've heard of her. She's wonderful. We're gonna talk about monster girls and um, you know our um our 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 thoughts and feelings on them, so to speak. And our new video will be coming out probably within the next couple of weeks. Um, it'll take a while to record. It is a big one. Uh, so stay tuned and see you soon. Hello, Miss Cat. Meow? <laughs> no, her name is Beef. <laughs> You're a, 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 like a mad scientist. Yeah, and I'm, I'm like a, a mad scientist uh, experiment. Yeah, so we're meant to be, yeah? This yeah, is that, this kind, is of a, that, kind of a good dynamic going who's, on. Who's writing the fanfic? <laughs> <laughs> I hope it's, like, gruesome. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's awful. Yeah, I mean, my character's whole lore is that they're, they're a doctor that experiments on people to try to find a cure, because uh, I can do this. Let me find the button. Because this just kind of happens Whoa. sometimes. Cool. Yeah. I'm into it. Do oh, not yeah. girl the monster girls look... <laughs> Isn't that what a lot of them are for? Yeah, I mean, like, low-key. To go back into the topic. Maybe, maybe not the receiving end, but certainly the delivering end. Like, that's half of the appeal of, like, because because I was saying earlier that I think mm. a lot of Monster Girls in media don't go hard enough. Oh, fuck yeah. Like, Mon Monster oh, yeah. Musume, like, I like the idea that there's a Lamia, but they're all, like, very safe and, like, cuddly. And it's like, no, 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 I... <laughs> I, I want to watch this Lamia swallow lay eggs in my ab. I need to watch this Ross woman <laughs> lay eggs in another human being. Like, uh, I'm sort of like 5D chessing. I'm sort of m mega minding uh, the, the the Twitch audience into slowly becoming into Bug Girls. Ideally, Bug Girls Bug Girls are really underrated in my opinion. They're so underrated. Because, yeah, like, absolutely. I also think plant girls are super underrated. Oh, I don't know if I've seen a whole lot of those now that you're mentioning Not that. in VTubing at all, but, like, I love... There aren't many anywhere, but every time I see them, I'm always like, Yeah, that's such a cool idea! Like, like an actual, like, pitcher plant or something is, like, a big, like, venomous monster girl. It'd be cool oh. as fuck. And you can do a lot with, like, vines and shit. Uh, Just... Yeah, I want to cuddle that. Mm. Beautiful. Beautiful. Actually, like my favorite monster girl design ever. It's one of them. I also, she has four boobs. I'm down. Oh! I'm into that. I'm into it. No, I'm I, into it. I'm into it. I didn't see it, but I can definitely consider it. I think this is a very hard take for me to say, but I think oh, some yeah? girls are kind of overrated, not oh, because. Bro, me too. Okay, but sorry, also no because one. they never. They never do anything interesting it's always just they're like blue and like see-through and then it's like yeah i get it having sex with a slime girl would be awesome yeah but like but the... i don't care i'm not interested yeah, they kind of they like i've seen one really cool slime girl but i think in general they come in like one color they like rarely ever have a memorable outfit or anything because they're just it's just girl girl butt color <laughs> in interspecies reviewers uh-huh they go to this one place with um with like a hot with like a dragon girl and it's like in the thing like dragons like are like breathe fire and shit so her skin was super hot and you couldn't have sex with her okay so what they did they were like they were like a barbecue restaurant and you just cooked the meat on top of like her like boobs Whoa. and stuff yo wait that would be cool wait, as fuck. i'm into it dude that's that's so smart what the fuck yeah my thing with minotaur girls is my is like they're very cute but i want them to have like the like if they're not big and muscular i'm not fucking interested <laughs> hell yeah if she's not like nine feet tall i simply don't give a i yet. simply same thing with centaur girls like if they're not the size of an actual horse i i can't be i can't be asked to care like, imagine a centaur girl, but, like, with super bit heavy, like, muscles. It'd be fucking hot. 
<laughs> I don't get super like unhinged very often. Yeah. I love having no. I love people having people on that can mm. like push me to be unhinged. It's great because it doesn't yeah, take a lot. I just don't do it on my own as much. D-Gen, D-Gen tonight. D-Gen time. This is D-Gen time. All of the babies gotta go to bed. We're the, <laughs> the mommies are talking. <laughs> the mommies are having a conversation. Uh, oh my god. I think my monitor is like maybe 12 inches on my tablet. I'm jealous. Actually, um, it might be 10 inches. I've got something 10 inches, Juniper. Oh! Oh, what is it? It's this needle right, right here. <gasps> Oh, wow. Um, I think- It's uh, so big, right? I think, I think you're, um, so this is a really common thing is that people will actually overestimate how long their needles are. Uh, I think, I think yours is closer to eight inches. Oh, 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 oh yeah? Okay, well, I guess we'll see how eight inches feels then. <laughs> I can't keep that bit up. I can't keep the bit up. I'll lose my mind. <laughs> it feels like 10 when she uses it. That doesn't oh. sound <laughs> Oh, God. No. Oh, God. I've just seen three clips get made. Oh, no. Bro. This is going. <laughs> this is going. <laughs> oh, this is going on Twitter later, huh? All right. It's all right. Spongebob Can I, all right. Squarepants, a monster girl. <laughs> It's so okay. It's Garfield in I'm sorry, John comics. A oh, monster. <laughs> okay. Wait. Let's let's. Okay. Let's start a little bit softer. Okay. Is is Sandy from SpongeBob a monster girl? Well, I guess does furry count as monster girl? Yeah. Do are furries monster girls? I don't know. For I think furries its own distinction. Okay. Like if they're full on an animal, like Minotaur is a mythical bo like a mythical creature, so I will allow it. But like people that post like cat girls is on the monster girl web, like a cat girl is not a monster girl. Okay, all right, no, mm, okay, all right, okay. It can, is a monster like a straight up monster a monster girl? Um, I think so. So like okay. the thing, like the thing. Like, yeah, like the thing. Is the uh -huh. thing a monster girl? Why not? And also, no, why not? No, chat's saying no. Explain yourselves. Explain yourselves. Yes, they have human aspects. Okay, so chat's saying they have to have human aspects. I mean, the thing can turn into... The, the thing, yeah, the the thing, thing can, can... The thing specifically can be a monster girl if it Yeah, it can chooses. present as a human. But, mm -hmm. like, things that can't. Like, is Godzilla a monster girl? E Yes. Because that is a mythical, like, because that could be close to free, no, but it's, it's mythical. God, okay. Is Godzilla, okay, but Godzilla might fall into the furry category, which we decided so. that is not Monster Girl. Well, because he's not, he's a, he's a reptile, but he's not a real reptile. Yeah, he's like a fantasy reptile yeah, that spans on two fantasy, legs. Yeah, because he's fantasy, I think. It's he'd go into monster. Scaling, not he's furry? not scaling. It's well, because if because mm. we're saying if we're saying that Godzilla is furry, then we're probably saying that Minotaurs are furry. Okay. And I don't think Minotaurs are furry, so I think we could classify think... Godzilla as monster. I think Kaiju is right, monster. Okay. okay. Like Mothra, honestly, smash. Oh yeah, but that wasn't the question. <laughs> I know. I'm just talking. I don't know. I was uh, thinking uh. like the cryptid type characters out of Godzilla. <laughs> Gura is a monster girl. I thought, yes, yeah, shark people are hard for me too. Oh, really? Okay. Because I, because mermaids, right? But like shark girls are just kind of mermaids. Uh huh. Because they're not mythical. Yeah. You're right. Hmm. So I think they need. I think they need at least like some gills slapped on them to like really push them over I, yeah. over the edge into monster girl territory. Like the people who are mermaids with shark tails, like as half of their body, I think that counts. Okay. But right. like, like the girl. I don't think Gura is a monster girl. I don't think Gura counts. Okay. All right. We're really chiseling out. We're this chiseling. Okay. We are. If anybody mm -hmm. asks, what? Is a monster girl. Refer them to this part of the stream. We are the uh, as monster girls. We are the adjudicators. It's um, what we say obviously goes. Yeah. Is Juniper a monster girl? Juniper is an experiment. So yeah, you're not just a yeah. really, you're not just a moth. No, I'm just I'm I'm a I'm a I'm a metamorphic little fellow. Yeah, you're just a little guy actually. Yeah. <laughs> And like demons are monster girls, obviously, so that makes me one. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
We gaslight gatekeeping. Yeah, we're gaslighting. We're gatekeeping the monster girls.